Good evening, Belinda. Good evening. When did you first become interested in music? I began to take up music at the age of three when my mom bought me my first keyboard. With the guidance of my dad, who is a professional musician, I started to master note by note with my childhood interest and uh, mm -hmm. curiosity. Yes. Of course, I can't remember the moment when I started because I was three years old, but I remember the feeling when I saw my first keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, for me, as a child, it was like a new, fantastic, shiny toy. What kind of music do you play? As a mature and educated musician with a lot of experience in music, I didn't want to profile myself to any particular music genre. Mm -hmm. So I decided to play fusion which contains elements of rock, pop and jazz. I am also very proud of my own songs like The Power of Space, Latino Girl, Tornado and many other songs I composed. What is your educational background? I attended music school at the age of 15. Um, the professors considered that I was uh, qualified for the third grade of music high school. Therefore, I was able to skip junior music school mm -hmm. and the first and the second grades of high school. I completed the theoretic section and my profession was a music teacher. <laughs> However, I never worked in school because my goals were going in another direction. Why did you decide to put the keyboard on a stand? Um, <laughs> that is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. I decided to put the keyboard on a stand because when I was playing the keyboard in classical position, people couldn't actually see my fingers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. And um, I had situations where people came to me and asked me, are you really playing? And I said, oh yes, of course, I'm really playing, why? And they would reply, how could someone has such wonderful technique on the instrument mm -hmm. and such good musical expression at the same time, which was, of course, a compliment to me. But after a while, it was starting to disturb me that people had doubts about if I was really playing. And I decided to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I put the keyboard on a stand so everyone could see my fingers. Oh, yes. You know, and, and see that I was really playing. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's not important how the keyboard looks. It's important who is playing it 
and how they are playing it. I agree on that. Yes. Uh, when did you start performing and composing music? Um, in my early life, I started composing music and when I was five years old, I made my first TV performance playing the keyboard. Also, during that time, I made many appearances on the TV, the radio and in the press as well. When I was six, when I was six, mm -hmm. I composed my first songs. <laughs> Some well-known musicians at the time used to say that I'm like Mozart. Oh, really? Starting, yeah, starting to play at three and composing at six. Nice. <laughs> they Very put nice. me in a good company, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> yes, I think so. Yes. Mm. We heard that you don't like shaking hands mm. because you're afraid for your fingers. Uh, Is that true? Yes. I don't like to shake hands because some people tend to squeeze your hand when shaking, sometimes very hard. I am I'm really afraid for my fingers. Mm -hmm. um, instead of that, I rather touch people on their upper arm. Mm -hmm. Also, we know that you're using a special cream for your hands and fingers. What can you tell us about that? Um, a gentleman from Japan mm -hmm. created a cream special for me, for my hands and fingers. Mm -hmm. um, it's a cream which has some ingredients from the waters of Mount Fuji and Himalayan mountains where there grows a special kind of flower called Golden Champa nice. um, which blooms only in April. I would like to tell you more but I can't because it's a secret. It's a secret, yes. <laughs> yes. What inspires you? What makes you feel fulfilled? Mm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a tricky question? Uh, not really, because I, I already know the answer. Um, Sometimes I'm sitting in the airports all around the world for hours. Mm -hmm. um, I adore, I simply adore watching airplanes when they fly on the night sky. Mm -hmm. um, especially during sunsets in the airports. That, how can I say, that enchants me and really, really fulfills me. Okay, let's get back to music. As a child, you started playing music and composing. How did you progress after that? Later, I had a big successes in the appearances at the great concert halls in Zagreb like mm -hmm. Vatroslav Lisinski and Sports Hall mm -hmm. as, a, as a guest star to mega popular bands and singers. Then the famous Pepino Principe, mm -hmm. um, probably one of the best accordionists in the world in the fields of classical and jazz music, saw me on a TV show. 
um, when he saw my skills on the keyboard, he called me the fastest finger on the keyboard in the field of fusion music. Oh, really? Uh, yes, yes. Um, I also established uh, several bands and we performed all over Croatia and Europe. Germany, Austria, mm -hmm. Italy, France, Switzerland, all over. And many famous musicians joined the tours. Nice. You also filmed a music video clip uh, with Sasha Baron Cohen for his movie Borat, correct? Oh, yes. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Um, at the end of September 2006, I returned from Hollywood where I made a soundtrack and a music video clip with Sasha Baron Cohen for his movie Borat. Um, it was a great time. A limo waited for me. <laughs> at the airport and when I arrived at the studio the entire crew proceeded by Sasha mm -hmm. bid me welcome and thanked me for coming to Hollywood it was really great unforgettable time I can say were there other appearances in America Yes, I was a guest on the American TV show Late Night with Conan O'Brien mm -hmm. on NBC TV in New York City. Uh, what can I say? That was also a great performance. I know you have a lot of fans. How do you oh. feel about <laughs> them? Oh, my <laughs> fans, yes, my mm -hmm. fans, my fans. I adore my fans. I adore them. And I'm in a contact with them all the time. And uh, when they send me a candies and the cute toys from all around the world, mm -hmm. it, uh, it makes me so happy. It somehow... It touches my heart, oh, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. In your opinion, what does it take for a person to become a good musician and composer? Hmm. In the first place, a talent for music is an art. Then music education is very important because <clears throat> Uh, if you don't know what you're playing, mm -hmm. it's like driving a car without a speedometer. Mm -hmm. I agree do, do you understand? I agree on that. Yes. Um, also needed is a talent for expression in music, mm -hmm. creativity, and passion. Um, you can't be a good musician without having an experience in music behind you. It can be accomplished overnight, of course. It's a lot of work and takes years. Mm -hmm. Do you have some secret wish? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Mm -hmm. uh, good question. Hmm. Do I have some secret wish? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I have. Um. <laughs> yes. I always wanted to try acting. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, oh, really? Yes. Nice. I, Very nice. <laughs> I always wanted to try acting. Maybe my wish for acting is because um, as a child I gave my 
own concert in one of our theaters in Zagreb. It was a performance of Cinderella. I played all the characters and also played the keyboard, of course. Um, I would like to see how it would be acting again. That would be interesting. It would be very nice. Thank you, Berlina, for this lovely interview. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Thank you.